Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making another beautiful flower trinket dish. So let's jump in and get started. I actually made this mold myself. Um, that was a few videos back. So if you haven't seen the video showing step by step how I made this silicone mold, definitely go check it out. I'll link it down below in the description box. So first thing I like to do on these is go in with a little bit of this gold glass glitter from Laura's Art Corner. It's a heavy glitter so it doesn't float it really stays put nicely where you place it so for this one um, I just took like a quarter of an ounce of clear resin mixed in some glitter and I'm just pouring that into my mold and on this piece I actually wanted to try pouring this one in layers I wanted to add a little bit of clear on this first day to see if I could eliminate bubbles before we go in and do our dirty pour. So now I'm gonna go in with just some clear resin after I touch up that little bit of glitter that went onto one of the petals. Um, if I didn't move it, it would have stayed put there, so I just pushed it over down into the bottom of the flower petal. And today I'm using the Liquid Diamonds resin. Um, it's a casting resin. You can get it from the Epoxy Resin Store. I'll link it down below along with my coupon code. And I'm just going to pour in a little bit of clear on each of my flower petals. And um, that's going to be it for the first layer. I did go ahead and mix up my resin off camera just to save time. But if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step by step how to mix your resin, definitely check out my holographic crystal tutorial. I'll link it down below. In that video, I show you step by step how to mix your liquid diamonds resin. And the crystals turned out really cool too. So that's basically going to be it for this first layer. The liquid diamonds has hardly any bubbles, which is nice. Um, I didn't have to hit this with my heat gun, but this mold is actually kind of tapered. So the clear ended up sinking mostly down to the flower petals. And you'll see that when we demold it here in a few minutes, but this is the next day. Now I'm going to go in and we're going to do our dirt dirty pour. Um, I'm going to be using sassy red epoxy paste. That's this color here. And then I'm going to go in with some gold interference mica powder from Let's Resin and just clear resin. And I'm just going to repeat that one more time in my eight ounce cup here. I filled my cup up to about eight ounces um, and I actually had a little bit of resin left over. So seven ounces would have been good for this pour but I just went in with the red again, a little bit of that gold interference, and then I'm going to do some clear. But I was like really impressed by how cool these layers were looking in this cup. I was like, oh my gosh, this is looking really awesome. I couldn't get over it. The red is um, an opaque color, so I was kind of worried that the gold wasn't going to show up, the gold interference, but it ended up working out nicely. I decided to hit it with my heat gun a little bit just to pop a few bubbles that I had in there, hit it with my heat gun on low, and now we're just going to pour it right into the mold. Super simple and easy to do, and I am going to spray this with a little bit of 91% isopropyl alcohol to pop bubbles. You can use 91% isopropyl alcohol or 99% isopropyl alcohol um, instead of your heat gun. See, I just went in with a little spritz of that alcohol and it popped those few bubbles I had on there. I let it dry for 48 hours and here we are ready to demold it. I was really excited to see how this one turned out um, because I had never tried going in with clear first in this mold. Um, so I was really interested to see how it turned out. I did end up with a few bubbles on the back side of this one. Um, so the liquid diamonds, it cures really slowly. So you want to babysit it and make sure no bubbles show up um, after you go in with that first spritz of your alcohol. Maybe check it like 30 minutes after you pour and see if there's any bubbles back there. I did not do that. I just spritzed it that one time after I poured and then left it. So maybe check it about 30 minutes after you pour and then if there's any bubbles go ahead and pop them and you won't have that problem. And I did have a few bubbles on the flower petals as well. 
Um, so going in with that clear didn't really do much in terms of eliminating bubbles. I did make a piece very similar to this. Um, it's a it was blue so if you haven't seen that video definitely go check it out I'll link it down below as well and that one I did all in one pour so you can see how different they turned out but let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comments I really love the red and the gold together and I really do like that little pop of clear on the petals too I hope you guys give this a try thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you soon for another video bye guys